today and today only on January 10th, players will be able to click and choose the Kleptomaniac Party Bonanza buff, which gives players a 100% thieving success rate, in which case you will be able to do Dwarf Traders. As for the requirements, you will need 90 thieving, 84 archaeology, and the Black Ibis outfit. The outfit is only for plus 5% thieving boost. The 84 archaeology, however, is for a very important relic, and that will be the Sticky Fingers, which increases the speed of thieving by 50%, meaning players are able to get 2,667 pickpockets an hour. Granted, they do have 100% thieving success, which, thanks to this buff, we will have it for a whopping 2 hours. Getting to Dwarf Traders, players will need to make their way to Calligram, which, if you have been there before, you'll want to go head to the Varrock Grand Exchange, head to the northwest area, and right-click the trap door to quick travel. In which case, you'll get a little of a black screen, and then you'll see yourself on the train track. From here, you will want to go north, and then into the building to the west, in which case you should see... Oh, hey, look, a penguin. Well, you won't be able to see a penguin. That was just pretty lucky on my part. So, climb up the stairs. Head west. And voila, you are there. Before anything, you will have to attack the four guards south. And then we will be luring them in the southeast building so that they won't be able to attack the player while we are thieving the NPCs. So attack them all, open the door, make sure you path them correctly, take one step through the door, and then one more step, and then you'll be able to go two tiles to the west of them, closing the door. This will allow you to safely pickpocket, and then now we'll be attacking the last four NPCs found north, and we will be luring them to the northwest building. Again, open the door, close the door on them, and you have perfectly set it up. They will stay here pretty much forever until every reset, in which case you'll just have to re-lure them. Once both of the stack of NPCs has been lured correctly, you're able to pickpocket, in which case you'll want to click on the yellow dwarf to the west of me, as this dwarf will never ever move. A little fun fact, I forgot, you only need to lure those NPCs if you fail. But with this relic, since we do have 100%, the NPC will never call for the NPCs to attack us, in which case you don't really have to lure them at all. And just sit and AFK this forever but, again, you can only do this for two hours. As for the XP rates per hour, and again, this is only including the full Abyss outfit, which gives plus 5% thieving boost. You'll get a minimum of 1,557,528 thieving XP rate per hour. You can increase this so much by using a clan avatar, the pulse cores, the torso incense sticks. You could even use one of the archaeology relics. I believe it might be the support relic that does require 117 archaeology to even have. But there are so many boosts, in which case you could probably even get this to almost 3.3 millish if you do have bonus XP. But since I had no bonus XP, you can expect to get this XP rate per hour every single hour for the next two hours that you do have this buff and i will be making a loot video from these dwarf traders since previously these were the most painful thing to ever for me to make a loot video in which case i've never done because i was avoiding this pain thank you all so much for watching this and enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to like 
subscribe, or comment down below any video suggestions or questions you have, and I will try to answer them. And enjoy the rest of your day.